Hello. Here I have a new acquisition from ePay. This is the programmer by tech device chip burner universal. This is a very special name because this programmer is not really made by Bytech. We will just find it out. As you can see, it's uh, quite dirty. It's not in very nice physical shape. Let me show it from the back. See, so there's almost all that's missing, just one remains. This programmer is equipped with parallel port and it has embedded uh, power supply. This power supply is from 100 to 240 volts, so it's universal power supply. Uh, as I said, that's not really made by Bytech. What I found out, the program is top max we'll just find it out you know uh, i was able to find it by this model it's tm a 48 but let's just dismount it i already removed four screws so let's just take out this module here we go and let's take out the top cover And you see, it's made by EE Tools. The model is Top Max, which is universal programmer. Not just for our EEPROM, but it's also supporting a number of different uh, microcontrollers. It has uh, this module has 48 contacts, so all the DIL based devices with up to 48 uh, pins can be directly supported. This one, obviously, that's not the, really the, the recent model. This one, based on the code on chips was made like 1997, 1998, so it's quite old. I was uh, I was able to download the control software from EE Tools website. The latest version for this specific programmer is version 4.7. And the copyright in this program is 2004, I believe. So that's not really the latest software. And there's one drawback. This programmer can be uh, connected just to the PC with up to Windows XP. So the software for this Legacy One programmer is supporting up to Windows XP. It doesn't support Windows 7, 8 or 10. I tried on Windows 10, that's not possible. The trick is that it's really expecting uh, to have a, a parallel port on the motherboard which is not present in the modern PCs and if it is not direct on the motherboard, if it is just on the PCI card uh, or PCIe card and it's not set in the various uh, legacy addresses like 378 uh, then simply the software will not find out uh, the programmer uh, there is one more trick also I was caught when I was trying to connect to this programmer it was not working you should check settings of the parallel port in the BIOS of the computer because what I had was I had a EPP plus ECP support and it was causing it was not working and then I tried just EPP, another setting was just EPP, uh, another setting was ECP, and uh, it was working. I'll show you later on, but uh, now 
I will try to clean it. You see, it's very dirty. There is a lot of dust inside. So I'll try to use air compressor to clean out this dust. I uh, can also, just to show you, I would remove this board. Because these are the drivers. We have the disconnector. This adapter is connected. But if I remove this board, Here you can see, it looks pretty well. There is a Silinx controlling all the programmer. This is the RAM uh, module. Uh, let me just wrap it. Here are four power uh, linear amplifiers. Controlled by the deck. I believe this one is the deck digital analog converter, which is setting different voltages here. And this is just the power supply. This is very simple uh, switching mode power supply. The universal input 100 to 240 volts, and the output is normal plus 5 and plus 12 volts DC. And that's feeding all the programs. So I'll just try to clean it out uh, and I will be back to show you how it went, whether I succeeded, because these marks look that they will be a bit stubborn. This one as well.